Ghost B-127. Time to find out. Konnichiwa ladies and gentlemen, JJ Prime here, back with another video review. And today I will be taking a look at my most recent, uh, you know, figure that I just achieved today. This is Earthrise Leader Class. Um, Optimus Prime, yes, my favorite character, my favorite Autobots, my favorite leader of the Autobots. Let's take off the trailer and put them off to the side. And take a look at the cab section. And it's nice, really nice, really really concealed. Um, you can see basically the legs, um, feet right there. But pretty much all concealed. Um, now, one thing that I actually, uh, oops. One thing <laughs> I don't like about this figure is that they got inconsistency of the wheels because this is a zero rims and this is unpainted gray. Which is weird, I don't like that. And uh, nice Autobot symbol right there, so yeah. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much about the cab. It's very simple, very basic. Oh yeah, I don't have the box to show you, but uh, actually I, I do have a remote control of an air conditioner. So yeah, there you go. <laughs> so, no, <laughs> he does include his trailer right here. <clears throat> Which looks very G1, and I really like that. And then um, let's let's talk about the trailer. Let's now let's let's dig into the trailer a little bit. So this trailer can actually open up, and you can bring this down, and you reveal this little drone section right here. You can just flip this up, rotate this around, and there we go. There we go. And uh, yeah, it's. Um, it looks cool, very very G1 y, very masterpiece. It's the first time seeing uh, a mainline trailer doing this, so yeah, it's pretty cool. You can actually stand it up and make it seem and make it seem like it transformed into a weird little drone robot thingy. So yeah, it has its own little robot because this is his arms, this is his head, and this is his uh, you know body slash legs. Um, so. Yeah, so that's basically what the trailer can do, and you can actually take his gun. So yeah, he does include his uh, uh, Optimus Prime does include his uh, regular rifle. So you can actually take the rifle and just plug it into these ports if you want. But if you want, you can actually take this gun and store it onto this port right there if you want, or you can fold this up and just. You know, plug into that port if you want, like, like that, like so. So yeah. So fold this. So. so now let's put the trailer off to the side because that's basically what the trailer does. And now let's get down to the transformation. Because oh wait, before we get down to the transformation, let's get down to some comparisons here. So I had to bring back the trailer because you know. More. There we go. So for comparison, here he is with the other studio, other Prime that comes with his own trailer. The Studio Series Darker Moon Prime. The Studio Series Lita Class. <laughs> Darker Moon Prime. Let's see how they look together. And of course, here he is with his. Uh, Wheeljack, you can see. Now, can Wheeljack actually fit into the trailer? Um, the answer is no. It's a no no. It can't fit. It can't fit. So, it's a no no. There we go. Now, the last comparison, I want to compare him with the Siege Optimus Prime. So, there you have that. So, See how they look together? They look good together, and if you want to, 
you can take this trailer and plug it onto your Siege Optimus Prime. So, oh, they look good. Looks good. Now, can the trailer work on this Prime? Well, let's see. Yes, it can plug in there, but it actually sits in there very loosely. So, but he can pull it if you want. So, yeah, there we go. So that's pretty much it for trailer compatibility. That's it for the truck mode. So let's get down to the transformation, shall we, lads? So, so what shall we start with? We shall start. We shall start with flipping in the gas cans. That we saw this. Um, this was used from the. Uh, it was borrowed from the. Uh, this transformation scheme was. This step was borrowed from the uh, Bumblebee Movie Prime. <laughs> so. Yeah, so split the legs and, uh, and flip these down, flip these panels down, flip out the foot, flip out the foot, flip out the heel spur, flip out the heel, and if you want, if you want to be funny about it, I'm gonna open the, these panels, if you want to give him the gur truck, you can do so. That if you want, hey, go truck. <laughs> now let's continue on. I'm gonna flip these panels and flip these panels. Flip this panel. Flip, flip this panel if I can. <laughs> flip this panel. Flip this panel. A lot of panels to flip actually. So yeah, you want to take out the, bring out the arms, bring them out a little bit. Bring out the arms, bring them out. And you want to finish up the waist piece and just have these in, just like so. You want to take this whole section here and raise that up. These panels in, these panels in. And you can now take this head and bring this out. And you close that panel, just like so. And you want to take this whole section and flip this around. And, uh,. Bring this down, tap that in, and you have to make sure that this clips on very tightly. Hey. Anyway, let me work on this side first. That's make sure that this panel is sitting flush. Ow, my nail hurts. <laughs> ah, shit, no, I dropped him, I dropped him. Anyway, first you want to rotate the waist 180. I'm gonna bring this section up and make up his butt plate. Yeah, this section is a major flaw. Uh, uh, oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, there we go. You bring this arm forward, rotate this around, flip up to the panel, flip out the hand. I don't know why. Yeah. So, same thing on the other side, flip out this panel, flip out the hand, close. And I think we're done. Are we done? Yes, we're done. Woo! We're done. There, there we have Lita class. <laughs> Lido class Optimus Prime in his robot mode, and I use quotation fingers when I say leader class because he's not really leader class, you know. He's not leader class, so yeah. Anyway, why am I talking like this? You know. <laughs> so <laughs> let's get back to our original voice here. So yeah, he looks really good. So let's get in close here, so we can take a look at that beautiful head sculpt. If my camera will focus, there we go. Yeah, that's nice primey head sculpt. It's cool. Nice Autobot symbol right there on the shoulder. Yeah, his uh, abs, his 10 pack. <laughs> so, does have some nice colored hands. And a shiny crotch. I wonder why. Hmm. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, he looks good. So, now articulation wise, the head is on the ball joint, rotate a full 360. Shoulders of his rotating hinge can rotate a full 360. The arms can move out that far. It's a bicep swivel, 
Elbows can bend, 90 degrees up bend, and the wrist swivel is there, and the hand can open and close. And I'll tell you what is that for in a little bit. He does have a little bit of waist swivel, like that. The, the legs can move up that far, can move back that far. You now, the butt plate is getting in the way. He can do the full splits. He does have a tally swivel and has a knee joint, a deep knee bend, you know. <laughs> and he does have an ankle tilt hitch right there. So, yeah. So, now he can hold his gun. You can take his gun, just put him into his hand. And you can pew pew bang bang pew pew bang bang. And another thing that the instructions say with the with him in the trailer, you can take the just open this up and you can take this and unpack that. And you want to unpack this section here. And you can just take this and plug it into his arm. You give him like a shield or some kind. And you can take this. Hold this down, hold this down, rotate this down, and you can take this uh, this post and plug into that port right there, and you can do that if you want. <laughs> you can do that if you want. Hey, it's your toy. Display it however you wish. So there you have that, and he does include his little matrix of leadership. Which is a, uh, it's just a nice touch, which I can't even get this out anyway. So there we have that, and he can actually pull up the pose where he's lighting our darkest hour. Yes, but first we take a look at the matrix itself. It looks a nice matrix. I have another matrix, but hey, that's Rodimus's matrix. <laughs> so you can actually. Um, Extend it a little bit. You can actually open up the hand. You have to raise it up and put it over his head. You can actually put this matrix and just put it under the thumbs and just close close this up if you want. Close that up. And you can just look up and you can do the pose. Yay! You can light our darkest hour while looking up. So, so there you have that. There you go. Now he does have these little posts on him, and that's for the effects parts that come with the little battle masters. So if you have those battle masters, you can actually plug in some effects parts and make it look like he's being damaged or something. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. So this matrix can just, just. It back in, close that up, hold your gun, and there we go. So now we can carry on with some comparisons. Here he is with his Autobot teammate Wheeljack. Let's see how they look together. And here he is with the Studio Series Bumblebee Movie Prime and the Studio Series Talking to Moon Prime. You can see that the Prime shares, you know, borrows some transformation steps from from here to here and borrows wheels from here to here. So, because look at the wheels, look at the wheels, they look absolutely similar. So, so there you have that. And last but not least, here he is with the Siege Voyager Prime 8. And uh, hold your gun, Prime. Hold your gun, please, please, please. It's only right if you hold your gun. Um, so yeah, he has uh, he ha his regular gun is really uh, different. And, um, so yeah, I don't see anything that's different. That's uh, that's the same. Although the heads might be the same and the feet. The, the front panels of the legs and the feet are the same, but other than that, I don't see anything that they share, so... Yeah, that's pretty much it. There we go.
So there you have Optimus Prime. Um, there are some flaws about this figure, like like for example, this this thing. It just doesn't like to stay flushed. Yeah, it doesn't want to come up anymore. So yeah, that's that's one of the flaws about this figure. That this panel doesn't want to stay clipped in. So now it wants to stay. God. So, so that's one of the flaws. And also, the wheels are not consistent. They are too inconsistent. <laughs> so, yeah, that's that's the thing. But overall, this figure is wonderful. It's very G1. I know some of you are are G1 fans and you wish you had this figure. If you don't have this figure, well, if you want to get this figure, you can get it now. You can buy it now from one toy. <coughs> so yeah, in MCORT Mall if you want. Um, or you can just buy it online, buy it from online stores, try to find it online stores, try to find it for a cheaper price. So. Yeah, I bought it for 220 ringgit, so, yeah. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, um, the trailer, the trailer is a really, uh, it's a nice touch. I like the little, the little shield. And also, I do like the little drone, so, yeah. I like this figure, you know, I really like this figure. It's so... So, um, <coughs> <coughs> but with this figure, you can, you now have options because you also have the Siege Prime. <laughs> so, you decide which figure you want to keep, but for me, I'm going to keep both Primes because they look really, really good. Yeah, they look really good together. Yeah, granted, this is the, uh, the, the Siege Prime is more Cybertronian-ish, this is more Earth Prime, but... They both still look good. They still look very G1-y. So, yeah. <coughs> Sorry about the throat. <coughs> so, yeah. <coughs> uh. So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see, and if you want more videos from yours truly, JJ Prime, you might want to consider subscribing by clicking the subscribe button down below. And also, if you want to, if you, blah, 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 so my tongue stops working. <laughs> so, and if you don't want to miss any more future, and if you don't want any, blah, still, uh, uh, my tongue, uh, anyway. <laughs> if you don't want to miss any future reviews from JJ Prime, click the notification bell next to the subscribe button on your right, and that's pretty much all for me to say so there is the earthrise leader class optimus prime okay before i end i want to talk about the uh why this shouldn't call be called a leader class it should be a voyager class because he's he's really a uh, voyager sized because you you see you see the siege voyager prime this is the voyager class figure this is the leader class figure same height, same height, so. so, yeah, this should be a Voyager figure, but, well, with the inclusion of the trailer, yeah, I can see why they call it a leader class, but really, leader class figures are way, like, 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 here, so, here, <laughs> so, <clears throat> so, yeah. Now, if I were to get this, give this figure, uh, from, uh, rank this figure from a scale of 1 to 10, I would give him um, uh, probably a 9 out of 10, you know? You know, just 9 out of 10. Not perfect, because still inconsistent wheel wheels, and this panel doesn't like to stay clipped on, so yeah. And, um, yeah. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a like and subscribe. And this is JJ Prime signing off. 
Peace out.